Welcome back to SDL TV Live. I'm Sarah Bernard and I am joined by Matt Jones, who is a student council vice president of St. Mary's High School, and Jessica Lohman, who is a student representative and ambassador of Bishop DeBerg High School. And they're here to tell us about the annual shoe game to, ben to benefit the World Pediatric Project. And I know you guys are rivals and you're sitting next to each other right here on the set and you just met today here yeah. at SDL TV. <laughs> okay, so all's good so far? Yes, yeah, so, so far, far so good. <laughs> okay, we'll so see. we've got a big, there's, okay, so the shoe game is the 50th anniversary this year, right? Yes, yes. ma'am. And this is a big game and you both claim to be like the best and always winning and everything. And okay, what's the actual history of the game? Uh, the actual yeah. history of the game is it started in 1964 when the president of De Berg brought over the shoes from uh, the Netherlands and they're a pair of Dutch shoes, one's painted red, one's painted green, and the first seven years, I hate to say this, they won it, but then ever since then, we've, uh, we've held it a few more times. They, it's gone back and forth, but for the uh, past 20 years, St. Mary's has held those so shoes you guys, tight. you're still competing for the same pair of shoes, and they're in a, a trophy case um, currently at St. Mary's. Yes, ma'am, currently at St. Mary's. But soon to be at Bishop de Berg, right? Currently, I'm yes. just trying to help you out here. Yes. Okay, Not how, yet. Many, how many years have they been at St. Mary's? 20. 20, 20 the last years 20 straight. years. Okay, is this actual, ac accurate information, Jessica? As far as you know. Yes. You're not even 20. <laughs> no, I'm not, but I'm close. As far as you know. I'm close enough. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So, okay, but things are going to change this year. And they are. And things are changing. So something else big is changing with the game this year. Jessica, you want to tell us about yeah. it? Yeah. So, um... There is this awesome organization um, started by Kate Corbett, um, the World Pediatrics Project, which you are familiar with. Mm -hmm. um, this year at Thirsty Game, we are doing something that we have never done before. We are kind of taking the competition off the field, making it kind of more of a compassionate competition, and um, bringing in more of a, a little bit of a challenge between St. Mary's and Bishop de Berg in trying to raise funds for the World Pediatric Project. Um, we are both sponsoring a child, both schools, Mm -hmm. And our goal is to raise money to help this foundation. We think it's a great cause. And speaking on Bishop Dwerg's point of view, um, our motto is faith in Christ, service to others. And we really think incorporating service into, our, into something like a football game, it just comes naturally, but we think it's an awesome idea. Yeah, and I think both of your schools have a service component. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah, um, St. Mary's seniors are required to complete at least 40 hours of service just outside of school. Then they're required to... Um, do 20 hours inside of school. So altogether, we get 60 hours of service in helping out in our community. We always do charity works every year, but this year we really wanted to focus in on this new uh, idea of bringing the shoes game into it, which is a huge th event for us. So we decided to bring it in, and like uh, Jessica said, we're bringing in, we're each, each school is sponsoring a child. Okay. We're sponsoring a kid named Erickson from Guatemala. They are sponsoring a girl named... Um, Maria, she's 19 and she is from Colombia. Okay, that's yeah. great. <clears throat> so she's just the same age as some of your seniors probably yeah. or almost, or they're yeah. getting there. They're getting there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so, all right, so you, each school is sponsoring a student. You've got mm -hmm. Eric and Maria, Eric, is that right? Erickson. Erickson, okay, and, um, and you're bringing that service component and you're also using the leverage of this exciting rivalry in this game coming up yes. at the end of the month. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And um, and it's and and I guess you'll be educating your classmates about the World Pediatric Project and yes. and how that organization. They were just on the show just before you guys. They're yeah. talk. Um, yep. They are helping these children in the third world who ha don't have the same opportunities mm -hmm. that we have here for medical care. So it's a great way um, for us here in St. Louis to give back and for you guys to use all the excitement around your game to oh, do yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. So what else um, do, we, do, you, do we have to look forward to or, do, or were you doing at the schools to build excitement for this? Okay, well, um, before and after school, we have a lot of kids who are there early and who are there after school. So I think we're gonna kind of institute like a little um, selling of snacks to kind of just raise some extra funds for the foundation. Um, we plan on kind of taking up a collection at our school mass. Um, just doing little things to try to help out. Um, I know we're going to try to get some of our school organizations um, involved in maybe like the bake sales and selling different items. Um, and I know with the shoe game, there's going to be a tailgate. Um, yep. And so what's St. Mary's involved, then? doing that's, uh, are you think you can top what they're doing at Bishop DeBerg? St. Mary's is doing dress down days. We're doing donut sales, which... Oh, listen to this, Jessica. Oh, I know. Donut sales. Yeah. Okay, yeah. dress down days. Which, from my personal experience <laughs> last year, we raised $700 off of one sale alone. Did you hear that, Jessica? That I was did. one day, two hours, 
I think we can do. And I haven't gotten involved there. yet at my school. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, we'll be close. We'll be oh, close. Oh, it'll be close. But we're still going to. All right. So top. what's the what's the dollar goal at uh, St. Mary's? Dollar goal is five thousand dollars, but each school is challenge each other to a thousand dollars. I think to raise yeah. at least a thousand. Which okay, but I you think but you want to do how much can you do? Five thousand dollars. We want to do five thousand dollars. I know we can do more than that though. And. Bishop DeBerg, what's 5,000 is the goal, but I'm sure Bishop DeBerg will surpass the component. Yeah, this is in the game, be... and we will surpass our I'm sure the as World well. Pediatric Project is just so excited about this. Oh, uh, yeah. I think you guys have, are on to something, so oh, yeah. um, keep it up and come back and let us know what you've okay. done because something tells me you're going to both surpass your goals by oh, yeah. a lot. Our, our, our rushers will surpass their goals to score more than you know 10 touchdowns, and our defense will keep them down this year, too. All right, and Jessica, let's give you the final word. All I have to say is Bishop Durek is going to do awesome this year. We're going to show up the competition, and we're going to raise a lot of money for this great foundation, which is what it's yeah. all about. That is, she's got it right. It's all about the foundation. So just to plug the tailgate a little, it will go from 4.30 to 6 o'clock. We're gonna have DJs, we're gonna have food trucks, and partial funds from every food truck will go back to the World Pediatric Project. All right, and that's so. something both schools are participating in. Yes. Yeah, that's a joint effort. All right, it's, awesome. It's gonna be cool. All right, well, I love this rivalry, but, but friendship that's like starting right here. So thanks to you guys for <laughs> coming and joining us. Remember, the annual shoe game will be at St. Mary's on September 26th, and after this quick break, we're gonna be joined by Wow St. Louis, so stay tuned to SDL TV Live. We'll be right back.